Welcome to John vs. Tech. In today's tutorial, we we'll turn this picture into this. Now before we start, remember to press that like button and subscribe. That way you can help me grow this channel. Without further ado, let's get to it. The links to these files are at the description. First, we'll need to open GIMP. Then we'll create a new file by pressing File and then hit New. We'll leave the image size to 1920 by 1080 and then change the fill width to transparency, then hit OK. And we'll go back to our previous folder. We'll drag our first picture to our project and keep the rendering intent to relative color metric and then enable black point compensation, then click convert. The next thing we do is to center the image by using the move tool. Then we'll start cropping the image by selecting the free select tool. Let's zoom in at the image by pressing Z. And then select the free select tool again. Now this process usually takes time so I'm going to fast forward this part until we finish cropping the whole part. Now, after you're done connecting all the dots, we need to then paste that to another layer. So we'll press Ctrl X on our keyboard. And then we'll create a new transparent layer and paste it there. Now once we created our new layer, press Ctrl V and remember to anchor the pasted object into the layer we just created. Now we have our object cut from the image we have earlier. The next process is to check if there are any dark bleeds or light bleeds to our object. We'll create a white background to check for any dark edges we can remove. Then we'll create a black background to see any light edges we can erase. If you think the image is good enough, we'll then drag the other image into our canvas. We'll resize the background by using the scale tool.
then we'll reset our object too by using the scale tool. From here we can do a lot more things such as putting a zoom blur effect to give that impression that the object is falling from a cliff. So we go to filters, blur, then focus blur. You can adjust the settings to your preference. There's a lot of things you can still do with this image such as warping the size or a black and white effect at the background. That wraps up our tutorial for today. Make sure you get yourself subscribed so you don't miss out on our future upload. And make sure you press the like button as well. Until then, take care. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.